What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today I have this uh, Vivo IQ7. Yeah, I have already done the unboxing and anti-do benchmark test. And a lot of people requested me for this video, especially this uh, thermal throttling test, like back-to-back -back running anti-do benchmark and check whether there is any thermal throttling or not. So at the beginning, I'm going to do this uh, charging speed test with this 120 watt charger. This one is really very heavy. So I have already drained the battery yesterday, so like last night I haven't been using this one, it's totally drained. If you are not interested in that uh, charging speed test, then you can just skip to thermal throttling test, which is interesting. And I must mention that battery charging speed test is even more interesting. Truly, I have been using these smartphones like Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Vivo X60 Pro. All these comes with very fast chargers. But this Vivo iQOO 7, this is special. Anyway, before we start our video, one request. If you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and share this video on your Facebook and Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Yeah, let me check the temperature once again. It's around 22.8 degrees Celsius, which is even lower than room ambient temperature. Room ambient temperature is 26.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's start our Vivo IQ7 charging speed test. I'm really excited about this 120 watt charger and I wish that this one gets charged within 12 to 15 minutes. Let's see what happens. Let us check what's the percentage after one minute. Wow, it's a little sad that we cannot check the battery percentage while the phone is powered off. So I will turn on, I mean, I will power on this Vivo IQ7 exactly after two minutes and let's see what happens. It's been two minutes already and I'm going to power on this smartphone and after 2 minutes 30 seconds, it's around 31%. And after 3 minutes, it's around 35%. Wow, it's great. Almost 12% per minute. Let's see what happens after 4 minutes. If this smartphone gets charged at this speed, then maybe within 10 minutes it will get charged. Okay, after 4 minutes, it's 41%. And it seems like it's getting a bit slower, 42% at this moment. Let's see what happens after 5 minutes. And in between I have checked the temperature. Yeah, temperature is getting a bit increased. After 5 minutes, it's 50%. This smartphone already got charged 50% within 5 minutes. I mean, I have never seen any other smartphone to get 50% charged within 5 minutes, not even Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra. After 6 minutes, it's 57%. Let's see what happens after 7 minutes. After 7 minutes, it's 63%. So it seems like this is a pattern that after 50%, it would get a bit slower. So next time we will check again after 10 minutes. But in between, we will again check the temperature. And yeah, the temperature is getting increased. After 10 minutes, it's 81%, 82%, yeah. So it's a bit slower than what it was before 50%. Within 5 minutes, it got 50% charged and then in next 5 minutes, it got around 32% charged. In this speed, I think it would take around 14 minutes. Let's see what happens after 13 minutes.
after 13 minutes it's 95% charged so it's great i'm really really very happy I wish that you are enjoying this background music. Okay, after 14 minutes, 41 seconds, it's fully charged, it's 100% charged. Yeah, 14 minutes, 41 seconds. This Vivo IQ7 has already beaten my Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra. Yeah, really, this one is really pretty fast, but this Vivo IQ7, it's faster. And I'm really, really very happy because I'm planning to use this one as my daily drive for a longer period of time. And let's see what happens in the thermal throttling test let's hope for the best okay once again at the beginning let me check the temperature it's around 27 degrees celsius which is similar to the room temperature of 26 degrees celsius battery is 100 percent charged and cpu is at 33 degrees celsius okay let's start our run to the benchmark Amazing! This one got 728,000. This is even better than what it got at the first run. I mean yesterday it got 723,000. But you can see that the temperature has increased a lot. It says 9.7 degree on Antutu the benchmark and it's around 39 degrees Celsius on the surface of the phone. Yeah, let's check the details on Antutu application. Battery shows 98%, CPU temperature is on 45 degrees Celsius and after one minute we are going to run onto the benchmark once again. Yeah, after the second run it started to throttle. It got around 722,000 which is still very good. You can see on Antutu benchmark that it even went beyond 52 degrees Celsius which is really alarming. Let's run Antutu benchmark once again and let's check whether there is any more throttling or not. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. It says temperature too high, device temperature is too high, please wait for it to cool down before use. I didn't want to close this onto the benchmark so I waited and then suddenly it said apps that may raise the temperature of the phone have been disabled. So it just closed onto the benchmark and then I have tried to load onto the benchmark once again but it kept saying the same thing that it disabled almost all the applications that may raise temperature. At the beginning of the video, I had a lot of excitement, I was like joyful and my voice was even different. But now, after this uh, thermal throttling test, I mean running onto the benchmark again and again, I could only manage to run only twice. Yeah, I have this uh, Mi 11 and I can run onto the benchmark like seven times in a row. It wouldn't say device getting hot. Yeah, there is some sort of throttling. But it wouldn't just disable or close or unload applications. But uh, this uh, Vivo IQ7 has really disappointed me in one sense. But in another sense, I'm a bit happy. Because I wouldn't like to damage my smartphone with overheat. It's like Vivo is pretty honest. They let you know that yeah, your smartphone is getting hot and performance may drop and a lot of issues may arise. So please stop doing what you are doing. But on the other hand, Xiaomi let you do what you want to do and yeah the performance gradually decreases and it may damage your smartphone so the choice is yours if you haven't watched my camera comparison video between these two smartphones then don't forget to watch that and let me know what you think about this video or what other videos you want to watch if this video was a bit helpful to you if you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel also, don't forget to share this video on your social network. I mean, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you have.
it our peace, say goodbye. Cause the further we carry on through the fire.